Hi there, welcome to Peppy Civil Class. Um, we will be looking at transportation engineering today and under transportation engineering we will be solving a question under parking survey which is the in and out the in out survey method of the parking survey okay and today's question says that from an in out survey conducted for a parking consisting of 40 bays the initial count was 25 the table below gives the results of the survey the number of vehicles coming in and out of the parking lot for the time interval is five minutes so we have to find the accumulation the total parking load the average occupancy and the efficiency of the parking lot so the time interval was given as um, 5 minutes so 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 and 60 and the vehicles that entered 3 2 4 5 7 8 2 4 6 4 3 and 2 and the vehicles are left Two four two four three two seven two four one three and five. Okay, so in order for us to um, find our accumulation, total parking load, average occupancy, and efficiency, would have to draw a table, which I have prepared already. So solution. We have our time intervals here, which is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45. The rest will go back. In our in, the vehicles that entered inside our parking lots, we have 3, two four five seven eight two four forty five is six the vehicles that left our parking lot two four two four three two seven two four exactly so in order for us to calculate our accumulation Um, our initial count the question says our initial count was 25 okay so initially let's say this is our parking lot maybe these are the cars parked these are the cars but so we have 25 cars parked in this parking lot okay Within the first five minutes, within the first five minutes in our parking lot, three cars entered to 25 plus three. Three cars entered our parking lot, making it 28. Then out of the 28 cars, two of them left, so minus two, which is giving us 26, okay? So the accumulation for the five, first five minutes is 26. Now, the total number of cars parked at the parking lot is 26 currently within the first five minutes. Now, between the first five minutes and the, um, to 10 minutes, two cars entered. So 26 plus two, we have 28. And out of the 28, four of them left, remaining 24. Okay. Now, the cars available at the lot is 24. Out of the 24, four entered again, making 28, right? And out of the 28, two of them left, remaining 26. Okay. So that's what we are doing what we have here 
the number of cars that joined you added to it and the number of cars that left you subtracted so if you continue with that you're going to have 26 24 26 27 31 37 32 13 4 um 34 and 36 36 okay now the occupancy we say the occupancy is the ratio of the number of bays okay occupied in the time duration of the total space available so the accumulation is 26 dividing the number of bays the question said um for a parking consisting of 40 bays okay so in order for us to get our occupancy is given by the accumulation divided by the number of bays which is 26 divided by 40 times 100 okay so whatever answer we are going to get here 26 divided by 40 times 100 is going to give us 65 percent and that is our occupancy so we have 65 here when we come here 24 divided by 40 times 100 we are going to get 60 okay when we come here 26 divided by 40 times 100 we're going to get 65 the same for all 27 divided by 40 times 100 you're going to have 67.5 we do the same for all of them so 77.5 here 92.5 here 80 um 35 we have 80 here 34 divided by 40 times 100 we have 85 and the 36 we have 90 okay please take your time and punch them on your calculator as well um the parking load the parking load is also obtained by multiplying the accumulation with a time interval okay accumulation this one the parking load is obtained by multiplying the accumulation with a um, time interval so accumulation we have 26 26 times 5 okay that's giving us 130 so we have the parking load 130 the next one is going to be 24 times 5 that's the time interval 5 is giving us 120 26 times 5 we have 130 um 27 times 5 135 continues like that 155 okay 155 185 160 170 and 180 okay but this is just up to um 45 our table continues here so 45 uh, 50 55 and 60 60 because our time ends our 60 minutes okay so we continue with the rest of our the last three four three two okay Four, three, two, and one, three, five. One, three, five. Okay. So accumulation, we ended at 36. 36 plus 4 minus 1. We have 39, 39, and 36. Okay. Same as the occupancy, we um 36 divided by 40 times 100 this one so we are going to have 97.5 percent 97.5 and the last one is going to give us 90 okay and the parking 
load we said is the accumulation times the time interval so 39 times 5 39 times 5 and 36 times 5 we're going to have 195 195 and 180 okay okay so now find the accumulation we already have our accumulation The total parking load. Total parking load. We have our parking load already here. So the total parking load, we just have to add all the parking loads to get our total parking load. So total summation of all the parking loads. We are going to get a pack, total parking load. One thirty, one twenty, one thirty, one thirty five, one thirty, one twenty, one thirty, one thirty five, yes, one fifty five, one eighty five, one sixty, one seventy, one fifty five, one eighty five, one sixty, one seventy plus. 185, 185, 185, 185, 185 plus 180. Summation of all these values, you are going to get 1935 vehicle per minute. Okay, vehicle per minute. Now, if you want to get um, the vehicle per hour, we just divide 1935 by 60. And that's going to give us 32.25 vehicle per hour. Okay. Yes, 32.25 vehicle per hour. Now, we calculate for the average occupancy. Average occupancy is also the average of all the occupancy values. Okay, average of all the occupancy values for the time interval. So we sum up all the occupancy values 65, 60, 65, 65. Sorry, 65, 60, 65. 97 97.5 97.5 97.5 97.5 97.5 97.5 97.5 97.5 97.5 97.5 97.5 97.5 97.5 plus 90 okay of course we are looking for the average we have to divide by the total number of, we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 okay so divide through by 12 and it's already in percentage we, we multiplied by 100 initially so this is going to give us 80.625 approximately 80.63 in percentage okay the last question says efficiency of the parking lots efficiency of the parking lot efficiency efficiency is equal to the Parking load in hours. Okay. The parking load in hours divided by the number of bays. Bays. So the parking load in hours. This is at 32.25 vehicle per hour. 32.25 divided by 
the number of bays there were 40 bays and this is going to give us 80.625